Hey guys, it's Chloe. Welcome back or welcome to my channel. In today's video, I wanted to give you guys a tour of all the recovery equipment I have for my truck. Over the last two years of owning my 2019 TRD Off-Road Tacoma, I've amassed a lot of gear. And while I've made lots of YouTube videos here on my channel about all the mods I've done, to my Tacoma, I've never really showed you guys the gear I carry around. I also kind of finalized the way I decided to mount all this gear and I want to show it to you guys in case you have the same gear and you're looking for mounting solutions too. And everything I'm about to show you is something I've tried and tested and I've really liked over the course of time. So I'm considering all this equipment essential for me, but let me know in the comments down below what you consider essential for you guys. Also, if you're new to the channel, thank you so much for checking out this video. I do lots of mods and off-road videos here in my Tacoma, so feel free to subscribe if you want. Now, let me show you guys all the recovery gear I have. Now, first up are my traction boards, which are from DVA Off-Road, and I'm pretty sure DVA Off-Road is known for selling a lot of Jeep products, but they do have Tacoma products as well, and obviously traction boards are universal from vehicle to vehicle for the most part. After owning this truck, I have gotten it stuck in sand, as you saw in a couple of my other previous videos, snow, and even mud. So for me, recovery boards is pretty much a must-have essential item I want to carry with me all the time. I really like these ones, they worked well in the sand, and I like that they're budget to mid-range priced. I'm not sure how these recovery boards would compare to other recovery boards out there, but I really like these ones, they worked for me, and it's also just nice to carry recovery boards around in case you encounter another stuck vehicle. So because of the importance of these recovery boards, I came up with a mounting solution which I really like that's in the bed of my truck. It's pretty simple, it was kind of just an on-the-fly DIY job, but pretty much I had an extra side bed rail for a Tacoma that I was going to use as my third bed rail, and because I wasn't using an actual third bed rail, I was just using one of the rails that was supposed to go on the side of the bed, I had to drill holes in all the spots in order to get the rail in place. But once I did that, I got two T-slots that I slid into the rail. Then I used two long eye fish hooks to actually secure the traction boards into place. And then to make sure that the recovery boards were snug and wouldn't rattle all over the place, I found some plastic grommets that I threaded through on the long eye hooks to make sure everything was tight and locked into place. I'm overall really happy with the result. I like that it was budget friendly and I like that it was really easy to do and I like the way it looks but the one disadvantage that I have right now is that there's no security. So with this setup the only thing I really have to do is find a way or figure out something to make sure that my recovery boards are locked into place on the bed somehow so that they're more theft deterrent but I'm not too worried because my truck is either parked in my garage at home or behind locked gates with a security guard at work pretty much 99% of the time. So when I figure something out, I'll let you guys know. But yeah, recovery boards are one of my top favorite items for recovery. So another item I carry in my truck bed is a foldable shovel. Now, I do realize that my traction boards can be used as a shovel, but this one's nice and small and compact and easy to grab, so I like having it in the bed of my truck as well. So having a shovel is important when you get stuck because when you get stuck, you pretty much need to shovel out whatever you're stuck in to basically unbury your tires. So that's why I picked up this a Smitty Built one. It's nice, compact, and foldable, like I said before. And while I don't have too much to say about it because it is just a small shovel, this one is kind of cool because it's got two serrated edges and it's made out of carbon steel and honestly it just feels really really strong even though it was a relatively inexpensive shovel. So the way I mounted my shovel to my bed was I used my molly panel which I got from a company called OG Fabrications that does a lot of custom and really really cool work. I have a whole video here on my channel about this molly panel but as a quick recap this molly panel is made out of starboard which is really light and flexible which makes it optimal for just general use as a storage device. I used a quick fist clamp which I put through my molly panel and then I mounted my shovel onto it and I kind of mounted it in a really weird way because the shovel is foldable. So as you can see the head of the shovel kind of folds over the way I've mounted it on the clamp but it's easy, it's compact, works really well and if it works, it works. 
works. Now for the shovel, my idea is that I'm not really gonna have this mounted 24 seven on my Molly panel. I'm only gonna take it with me when I go on off-road trips. And I figure in worst case, when I'm driving to work, if for some reason I needed a shovel, even though it does not snow here in San Diego, I could just use my traction boards. The next thing that I keep in my truck bed, really only when I go on off-road trips, is my 1.5 ton Pro Eagle off-road jack. Now this thing is an absolute beast of a jack in my opinion because it's got really big off-road wheels and it also even has a skid plate, which I don't know any other jacks that do. And if you do have a lifted Tacoma, the stock jack may not work for you, but the great thing about the Pro Eagle jack is that it has an actual removable jack extension and they have jack extensions that are both eight inches and 15 inches which will suffice your needs for a lifted truck one thing that a lot of people ask me is why i got the 1.5 ton jack instead of the 3 ton jack because the tacoma weighs around 5,000 to 6,000 pounds so it seems like it would make more sense to get the 3 ton jack so i actually talked to pro eagle before buying my jack and what they told me was i'd be hard pressed to ever have 50 percent of my tacoma all on the jack at one time. So I wouldn't even have 50% of my Tacoma's weight on the jack at once. Realistically, I was probably only gonna be using a jack that would lift the truck corner by corner. And after I took their word for that, I've honestly found this to be very, very true. As you can see in some of my previous videos where I installed my Fox suspension, I was really only lifting one quarter of my truck at a time. And the 1.5 ton jack was more than enough and exactly what I needed. Now, after having said all that, you may still be wondering why I still didn't get the three ton jack because I guess it doesn't hurt to have overkill. The Pro Eagle jack only weighs about 38 pounds and the whole idea of getting this jack was really not just for me to use it in my garage. I mean it is great for the garage but it's also to use it off-road because it has all those off-road features and use it as a recovery tool if I ever needed it. So loading up a 38 pound jack in and out of my truck isn't too bad for every off-road trip I go on but having a jack that weighs an extra 10 to 20 pounds would have just been more of a hassle and it would have taken up more space in my bed. Funny enough, Pro Eagle actually told me that a lot of Tacoma owners or mid-sized truck owners that buy their three ton jack at first, actually after a month or so, call them again and ask them if they can return it and get a 1.5 ton jack instead. So you obviously need to pick a jack that's right for you, that's right for your vehicle. You want to be safe, of course, but these are just my circumstances and why I got the 1.5 ton jack. So as for lugging this thing around on off-road trips, unfortunately, I still haven't found a really good way to mount this jack in the bed of my truck that doesn't require drilling in my bed. So since I only really bring it on off-road trips, right now my solution is just to use a ratchet strap and tie it down since it is something I'm not carrying with me all the time so I don't really mind. I do have the OEM Tacoma bed mat which makes the truck pretty flat but the Pro Eagle jack still doesn't roll around too much if you tie it down really tight. If you guys have any solutions for mounting this jack to the bed of my truck with my whole setup so far, leave me a comment down below. I'm thinking that I might have to figure out how to do a custom job on this, but if there's anything out there, please let me know. So the last item I have to share with you guys today doesn't sit in my truck bed. It actually sits below the seat and that's because I wanted it to be easy access and quick if I needed it in an emergency and that's because it is a fire extinguisher. So for the longest time I've had trouble finding a good solution that would allow me to have easy access to a fire extinguisher in my Tacoma and luckily the company Desert Does It who by the way is also the company that makes these awesome seat jackers that make your seat so so much more comfortable has a solution for that. So pretty much the setup that I have from them is a multi-mount panel that can mount to the front or the back of your seat. It all just depends on your preference. Based on the way it's designed, you can mount a lot of things on there with Velcro or nylon straps. But what I actually have right now to mount my fire extinguisher is another product by Desert Does It called a quick drop mount. It works really great. Basically, it holds the fire extinguisher in place with two clamps and a pin. And all you have to do is pull the pin. It'll open up those two clamps immediately and give you easy access to your fire extinguisher. So they have quick drop mounts that will work with fire 
extinguishers up to 3.25 inches in diameter. I like that it's made out of 6061 aluminum here in the US. It looks great, but obviously its most important purpose is that it's right there and there when you need it. So I was first curious if this limited foot space, and I guess technically it does limit foot space, but I rarely push my feet back into the seat. I most of the time have my legs stretched out in front, so it really doesn't inhibit foot space for me. But if you are concerned about that, like I said, you can mount the fire extinguisher to the back of your seat if you want. I'm going to make a video in the future where I give you guys more details about the multi-mount panel and all the things that you can mount to it because it is a pretty cool product. But for right now, I'm using it to mount my fire extinguisher because I'll never know when I might need it. Thank you guys so much for checking out this video and thanks for making it to the end of this video. I really appreciate you guys and all the support you've given me over the course of me making this channel. And every week I look forward to making more Tacoma mod or Tacoma off-road videos for you guys. If you want more content, I do have an Instagram I try to post to often. It is at Chloe Kuo Taco. But other than that, I hope we'll see you guys in next week's video. Bye guys.